There's a public affairs professor at the University of Minnesota who has looked at race and public policy in our state for decades. This month, he wrote an opinion piece for the New York Times illuminating some of the gaps and disparities that go far beyond policing. Our Aaron Hassanzada spoke with him about the story but beyond his punchy headline. Minnesota is one of the best places to live in America, unless you're black. That's the title of the op-ed Dr. Samuel Myers wrote in the New York Times this month. When asked why, he points to something called the Minnesota Paradox. Minnesota is one of the best places in the country to live. And that's one of the highest measures of socioeconomic uh, outcomes and achievement. And also uh, some of the widest racial disparities. Dr. Myers has been looking at the intersection of race and public policy in Minnesota for decades, using data like the census to paint a picture. In his op-ed, he says gaps in unemployment rates, wages, test scores, and home ownership rates between white and black Minnesotans are some of the widest in the country. The probability of having a loan application denied is far, far higher among African Americans than it is among whites in the Twin Cities. Should the city of Minneapolis, should the city of St. Paul be doing business with these lenders that engage in discriminatory behavior? He says because Minnesota has generally progressive policies, people can think we don't have a problem here. But he says buried racism keeps the Minnesota paradox alive. In the 21st century, an important component of racial inequality is related to these more subtle things. To narrow the gaps, he says we need to talk about it. There is a subset in our community that cares about trying to solve the problem. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Dr. Myers says there are encouraging areas in Minnesota as well and that not every disparity in the state is negative or points to race as a cause.